During my long uh, civil service career, I had uh, unknowingly inclined to public health by passion. However, something was missing in the public health and I was searching deeply for it, which drew me to the EIS training program from ICMR and IE Chennai. How? Where my heart is full? Usually the training programs are only for young people, but uh, I really thank uh, Dr. Pradeep Ma'am for, uh, for allowing us for this training program, which was very helpful for us. And coming back after such a long time to a classroom was uh, uh, bringing in our mind that our olden days in a classroom and having friends like and it was proving that age is just a number and we can do well in at any age this is the perfect amalgam of learning by doing. On one day we are learning lots of skills in the contact session and other day we are delivering the same in the field activities. This training gave me insight into how to investigate the outbreak uh, in the field with a detailed scientific approach, prepare a short report, address the scientific audience and write a scientific manuscript. I have been working in the health department in 15 years. In the beginning, there were a lot of local level investigations in the local level. There were a lot of epidemics. But when I went to my mentor, I had a lot of things to do step-wise. How to do the investigation, how to do the protocol, how to follow the protocol. I learned a lot very well. During this course, I had the first time of abstract writing. I had presented the first time in Calcutta in Calcutta. जो कि मेरे लिए बहुत ही मेमोरेबल था। For me, the data was just numbers. Now I can extract a meaningful information of out of that data, which is which is a very good skill for an epidemiology. I have took two last two year data of dengue. And uh, uh, analyze it, compare it, and uh, uh, considering the upsurge, early upsurge in the state of Punjab for dengue, and uh, I recommended district magistrate that uh, you just uh, uh, requested him to buy two uh, vehicle mounted uh, outdoor fogging machines to contain the outbreak. Uh, then district magistrate happily uh, accepted my recommendation because uh, it was based on the data and uh, uh, on the base uh, on the basis of facts. And he just immediately ordered the concerned officials to procure the uh, machines immediately. So they emphasize on the practical. They teaches us how to do practical things and how to work on Excel, the, on the PowerPoints and how to present uh, your uh, presentations, how to speak and how you can use uh, research software like Appy Info, Open Appy and other things. So the professional relationships I have developed during this uh, process with my uh, fellow uh, officers and my mentors will uh, definitely help me uh, growing more in this uh, FATP journey and as, as a part of FATP family, uh, this is, is for life.
it will be totally injustice for uh, for me to uh, not to give a credit to my little daughter who who just turned 4 last year uh, she accompanied me throughout the course wherever i was going for the field visit going for the community survey going to the data collection so she was always there uh, with me and the the way she i mean uh, helped me being a, such a small uh, kid uh, that really energized me to uh, pumped me to uh, complete this course congratulations to icmi nie leadership for taking the initiative to train epidemiologists and program officers from throughout the country with a focus on non-communicable diseases or ncds from a cdc india perspective we believe this is a high impact model one that will continue to set an example for fetps around the world but that's the other thing in public health is you should not be scared to say that this was a strategy we we put in place these are the challenges or it's not working as it should have and these are the changes that we want to bring in so that's something that we call a learning health system and um, all health systems need to continuously learn and evolve uh, and, and improve and ultimately of course the the judge is is the is the health outcomes there is a max satisfaction in the the faces of your teacher apparently they are very proud of you as a batch and that's why all this pomp and circumstance and our graduation day they organize for you but they also have great expectations from you all the very best three partners ncdc wc india uh, nie as well as the technical partners cdc and safety net came together and developed uh, a road map for one india ftp last year which was released by uh, the health minister in the conference in varanasi and this framework for this road map basically uh, provides a, basically a framework how to achieve the target of one epidemiologist per district also uh, highlights as to identifying other partners uh, in uh, fetb training because three three institutes are not able to reach or or, meet, or achieve this target i i would really like to uh, encourage the uh, state level and the district level officers who are working in the field of ncd or are interested to work towards in this field and the non government organizational uh, uh, professional to come forward and pursue this course with icmr nii